Hi guys, so this is going to be my September favorites video. I have a lot to show you, so let's just get started. First, I have been loving this Tarina Tarantino Doll Face Cheek Palette. Oh my gosh, I have it on today. I used this top color and this top color. Um, I really like them because they're like, these, they're pretty shimmery. Three out of the four are shimmery actually, all except for this one right here. But they're really gorgeous because they're kind of a sheer wash of color. I thought since they're so bright that I was going to have to like really be careful like but no you can kind of build it up and I really like these. They don't come off powdery. This came in the Wantable or BoxyCharm. I can't even remember. I have a hard time separating the subscription services now that I'm getting several. I've also been liking this Face Stockholm um, nail polish and unfortunately that's all it says. There's no color name. There's no nothing. That I would like to see changed, Face Stockholm. Thank you. <laughs> but yeah, I have it on my toes right now. I had it on my hands for like a week. It's like a periwinkle color. I really like that. So another color. It's been a Lorac month for me. I've been really enjoying my Lorac products. Um, this is a Lorac Pro 2. And if you couldn't tell, I've been using the heck out of this thing. I have been really loving this Nectar color in light brown. Ah, let me show you. These two colors right here. I've been really liking those. Um, and just all around, I think this palette is gorgeous. Even rose. And it has some great cream colors that are good for brow bone highlights that aren't shimmery. So I'm really enjoying that. Um, like I said, I've been loving Lorac. So this is their Cobra Mascara. I just got a deluxe sample size in black, and I love it. Uh, I feel like when I started using that, like I felt like I had lashes again, and I haven't felt like that in a really long time. So... That was nice. I know I have lashes, but do you know what I mean? Like, I was like, oh, I do have nice lashes. I don't feel the need to put on falsies, so that was good. Um, sorry, my hair's going a little crazy today. This is the natural curl, and I feel like some days I just wake up and it's curlier than others. I don't know. Uh, I took a shower last night and I slept with it kind of damp, so I think that's why, but it's kind of crazy. It's got a mind of its own, so I just tossed it up and yeah. This is what happened. Uh, next is this Cativa eyeliner, which I also got in, uh, I think it's BoxyCharm, uh, or Wantable. I think it's BoxyCharm. Um, I really like this. I'd never heard of this brand, and it's a waterproof automatic eye pencil. I have it in my waterline today, and it's been in there for a while, and it stays. It's very black, and I like that a lot. Okay, just two more products, and these are the Makeup Forever um, Artist Shadows. And I'm counting these as two products because they're in two palettes, okay? Don't judge me. Um, I have been loving these. Like, this Sienna color, it's like a warm orangey color. And when I, I've done this in a haul, I did swatches, and I did a look with them. But check out this color. It's like an orangey color. And then, I mean, Golden Beige is really pretty too. I love that as like a lid color. But I think my favorite is this Auburn color. Like, look at what a pretty fall look these colors make together. And I'm going to go ahead and show you the, the that's um, plum. And what the heck, here's Pinky Earth. So, you see how, like, these would make a really pretty fall look? I feel like they really, I seriously just went, and that's what I got. Oh, and I forgot the thumb. So... They just scream fall to me, and that is something that I can't forget. Like, I absolutely adore them, and they're pricey, not gonna lie. Like, I had to think about whether I wanted to purchase them or not because they kind of broke the bank, but totally worth it. So those six shadows were actually $88. I know, I know. And this Lorac palette that I thought about purchasing for a long time was like 40 something, 40? Um, and it has 16, yeah. 16 shadows and it's half price and I got six of them for double the price. I know, but the product quality is amazing. The colors are gorgeous. If I could like custom make a Lorac palette, let me know because I would totally be down to do that. I know you can just buy them and then get the, take the pans out and make your own Z palette, but that costs a lot. But if I could make my own Lorac Pro palette for 40 something dollars, I would be all over that. So those are my monthly favorites. Um, well, I have to also mention this one. This is the e.l.f. Um, Kabuki Face Brush. This is $6. I have just been using this for my powder all week. And I've owned it for a while. And I just started using it. I don't know why, but I love it. This color, um, 
it kind of tells you when the makeup's like too much, like when you need to wash your brush. And I find that like kind of nice because uh, you always kind of wonder like, when is it time? That one tells you because it's got the white and the black. So the black starts getting cloudy looking, like it's kind of gray. Uh, let's see, here's a clean, cleaner brush. Uh, it's not that clean. Maybe this one's clean. So you can tell like one's dirty and one's clean. And that tells you when it's time to wash them. So I really enjoy that aspect. I've also been loving my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz and the Brow Powder Duo that I got for a sample. I think I may purchase the Brow Powder Duo because it's amazing. Okay, that's it for my September favorites, guys. Take care. And if you're watching this, I'm probably already on vacation. So um, I'm trying to still upload a video a day. It's been kind of tough to get ahead. But um, regular videos that are current will be coming to you soon. Um, I'm gone October 1st through the 12th, so if you're watching this, I'm probably already on vacation. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.